Sunnyvale, Comtech, Houston, Comtech, air to ground one. Houston, Comtech, Sunnyvale, Comtech, air to ground one, loud and clear, homie. Roger, loud and clear, I want to do a voice and king check. Sunnyvale, standing by. This is Houston, Comtech, air to ground one and two, testing one, two, three, four, five, test out. Houston, Comtech, Centerville, Comtech, 100% modulation, go for King. Raj, uh, configure for the pass. Roger, Centerville, configure. This is uh, Shuttle Control Houston at uh, 35 minutes mission elapsed time. We're less than a minute away now from reacquiring Columbia through Indian Ocean Station. Uh, Flight Dynamics Officer Jay Green uh, reports uh, for Ohms 2 that the uh, time of ignition uh, should be at 44 minutes mission elapsed time. The Delta V uh, 136.5 feet per second. The uh, burn duration, uh, 1 minute 17 seconds. Ohms 2 should result in an apogee of reading uh, 132.5 nautical miles and a perigee reading 132.2 nautical miles. acquisition of signal now with Indian Ocean. 36 minutes mission elapsed time. Roger, 
Roger, Columbia, reading you loud and clear. Roger, and uh, I have your Ohm's uh, pad for your Ohm's two burn when you're ready to copy. Rogers for your cue cards, the crossfeed cue. Roger, uh, for your Ohm's 2 crossfeed cue, it's 42% uh, on the left and 48% on the right. Roger. And, uh, talking to Capcom Dan Brandenstein. And, uh, Crip, I've got to remind you, you configure AOS. Uh, that, I'd already done that just about time I called you. Uh, you should be in good configuration this time. Roger. And, Columbia, we don't have any S-band yet. We're talking UHF. Okay, we read you loud and clear. But UHF certainly sounds good. Yeah, it sure does. Been telling me about him for three years, but ain't no way you can describe it. It's hard to get my head in the cockpit here and do my procedures. I can imagine. We got a little particular chunk uh, floating around the cabin every now and then, and uh, when we get a chance, we're going to get the vacuum clear and spit some of that up. Roger, uh, we copy that. Not very much, just a couple of pieces here and there. Columbia, we saw the vacuum inerting going on in uh, Madrid and looked real good. Uh, we believe uh, it's all uh, been dumped. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's great. Yeah, we think that too. Uh, I just commenting, I don't think we got as much uh, trust out of the thing as some people were speculating. Roger. And uh, Columbia, just for your information, uh, the comm uh, right now is uh, clicking in and out a little bit. This is Shuttle Control Houston, uh, 41 minutes uh, mission to elapsed time. Uh, 
That was John Young uh, reporting to Mission Control that uh, at uh, main engine cutoff there was a little shaking around uh, inside the ship, uh, but no pogo on uh, the engines. Status check in the control center by Flight Director Neil Hutchinson. A go, no go for Ohms 2. In Columbia, Houston, uh, we got good S-band now and everything's looking good. Roger. Roger, we copy. Where? Roger, Columbia. In Columbia, Houston, we're 30 seconds uh, from uh, LOS. Configure LOS. We'll see you at Yargadee at uh, 52 plus zero zero. This is uh, Shuttle Control Houston at uh, 44 minutes uh, mission elapsed time. We have uh, loss of signal now with Columbia, the next station to acquire, and uh, about eight minutes uh, will be Yargany. Uh, this is Shuttle Control Houston.
Uh, this is shuttle control Houston at 46 minutes uh, mission elapsed time. Uh, we have a, a report uh, that the external tank uh, came down uh, within 10 miles of uh, a predicted uh, location uh, in the Indian Ocean. At uh, 46 minutes uh, mission elapsed time, this is shuttle control Houston. This is shuttle control Houston, uh, 47 minutes uh, mission elapsed time. Uh, uh, one clarification on our external tank report, uh, that is a projected uh, landing or impact point. Forty-seven minutes mission elapsed time, this is shuttle control Houston.